Suzanne Taller from Fairly Chic Emporium and today I'm doing a really special project. I'm doing one in collaboration with my lovely friend Lisa from Flutterby's Den. Hello! <laughs> my husband has picked us up this freebie um, old electric guitar. It's not got any strings on it or anything and we just thought it would be really fun to do something steampunk on it because we both really like steampunk. Now Flutterby's Den is responsible for my beautiful real silver Fairy Chic necklace with Chalky's paws on the back, bless. And she is going to be making us, based on this wonky clock, a clay version to stick somewhere on here. So it'll be a proper collaboration today. And in the meantime, I'm going to be doing some painting using my new London vintage paint. I've got some really funky colours going on. And I want to add some um, copper or bronze or gold or something, I'm not sure yet, it's all sort of a bit of a plan in motion. I've got some steampunk bits I might stick on and I've got some steampunky paper that I might stick on. So we'll come back when we've kind of decided what on earth is we going to do with all this stuff. See you in a bit. Hello, um, bit of an impromptu um, design thing here today, so I'm here helping Paula. Um, this is the little charm that's inspired me to make something to go on the guitar. Um, so I've used air dry clay and done a similar sort of shape with the numbers and hands. And then we have some um, little cog charms that we're going to stick on as well. Um, and then that's going to, once it's dry, we'll be able to put it on the guitar and then paint. Exciting. <laughs> right, so I've given the guitar so far um, a couple of coats of Hove C, gorgeous, gorgeous turquoise colour, and a couple of coats up the, uh, I don't know what you call it, shred bar, old lavender. I'm now going to use some polyvinyl acrylic crackle glaze just on the turquoise area so that we can get some ageing going on, and then I'm going to show you some paint techniques of how to make that look really cool. So I'll see you in a minute. All right. Oh yeah, right, so now I'm trying to create some aged and colour blending. It's almost as if this has got lots of layers of paint that are chipping away underneath. So I'm just using little quite bristly brushes to do a kind of crosshatch affair in different colours that I've got open. Um, just like this, building up layers. And then I'm using just a dry rag to sort of blot it. And then move on. I can, and if I go, if I do too much, I can come back and put a bit of the original base on. So I'm literally just carrying on playing until I get the look that I want on all the edges. So I've just added um, a couple more colours into the mix. So I've got a, a white and a kind of linen beigey colour. So I'm just going to keep working on this area until I've got the look that I want using these four colours. And so I'll come back and show you what it looks like when it's finished. Right. Right. So I've finished all the sort of technique on in the paintwork and I finished off just using a, a dry, pretty dry brush and flicking to sort of give a speckledy effect in places which I quite like. We've cut this bit out of um, cardstock that I had that's a bit steampunky and the colour works perfectly with the uh, old lavender. Um, I found a bit of old fabric stuff in my collection and I'm going to hot glue that to the end of the fret. And then we've got some silverware that we're going to hot glue onto the end as well. Uh, and then we've got to spend a little bit of time finishing off um, Lisa's lovely creation. So I'll show you when we get a bit further down the road with that. Okay, see you in a bit. Hello, um, we're back and I've just painted um, the clock face with purple London vintage. Um, and now I'm just trying to highlight the detail with some white paint. Um, with the numbers, like this. Um, so I'll just finish off that um, and we'll be back in a bit. Right, well we've put it all together. Um, this is the little clock that was inspired by that charm I showed off at the beginning. Um, so it's air dry clay that we've dried out, painted, um, obviously once we've moulded it into what we wanted. Oops put a few little um, cogs on there um, and then painted it and then highlighted it with some white paint and some silver paint just to bring out the detail a bit more and then we've stuck it on the guitar and I've had really good fun today <laughs> so hopefully um, I'll come back and do it again sometime. Oh, thank you! 
Right, thank you for joining us today. We've had fun. We were a little bit bored in the shop, to be honest, today. It's been, been one of those quiet ones where everyone's gone everywhere else. So today, we've had a bit of fun with some mixed media and some combined, combined skills. Really pleased with the results. London Vintage has done it again. I absolutely love these colours and I'm definitely going to be using these colours again uh, on future projects. Uh, I've tried the Smooth today, which is this, this one. It's, quite, it's a lovely, lovely feeling. Quite impressed with it. So... I hope you'll have a go at doing something fun, something just a little bit different, because it's going to go on my wall of memories now. Um, so, and I'd love to see pictures of yours. Thanks for watching. Until the next one. Thank you.